Hey guys, Jed here. Welcome to another video. In this lesson, we will learn how to solve linear inequalities and draw the solutions on number lines. By this stage, you should know how to solve linear equations, but if you don't, I've left a link in the description below that takes you to the lesson. Also, if you are looking at how to graph linear inequalities, that's a different lesson. And I've also left a link in the description below for that lesson. Okay, so let's begin. In this example, we're being given a question that asks us to A, solve the following linear inequality, and B, draw the solution on the number line below. So how do we proceed? Well, solving an inequality is pretty much the same thing as solving an equation. So we want to isolate this X here and eliminate everything that's next to it. So I'm gonna first begin by eliminating this plus 10 which means we're going to have to subtract 10 from both sides of the inequality. This now leaves us with 3x, which is less than 12. Dividing both sides by 3 to eliminate this 3 gives us x is less than 4. Okay, you have now solved the inequality and the solution is x is less than 4. Now we have to draw this solution on the number line below. Drawing inequalities is a fairly straightforward process, but you have to keep a few things in mind. Your inequality should look like this. That means the variable is on the left-hand side and the value is on the right-hand side. You could take the inequality symbol, this less than, to be like an arrow. And I kind of picture it like this, an arrow pointing to the left. So first things first, since my solution has the number four, on the number line, I'm going to write a three, four, and five, just to demonstrate my understanding of the positive numbers. You could put more numbers if you want, but it's not really necessary. Now, on top of the value that I have in my solution, so four, I'm going to draw an empty circle, like a hollow circle that doesn't have any color to it. And the reason it's an empty circle is because my inequality symbol, this less than value, doesn't have an equals part to it. So we can actually say, and I'm gonna draw it on the right-hand side here, that if you have a less than or equals to symbol or a greater than or equals to symbol, it is a colored in circle. As opposed to just a less than or a greater than symbol without the equals component, it is a empty circle. So that's how that works. Secondly, you need to draw an arrow coming out of this circle or a line coming out of this circle. And in this case, the line is gonna be coming out of the left hand side and it's gonna look like this. And the reason it's going to the left is because of my inequality symbol. So based on what I was saying earlier, if your variable is on the left-hand side of the inequality and it's on its own, and the value is on the right-hand side, you can use your inequality as an indication of which way the arrow is going to go. And that's pretty much how you solve a linear inequality and draw the solution on a number line. Now I'm going to show you some unique examples and cases of solving inequalities that I think you should check out. Take a look at this example. We have the same values as we did in the previous example. However, the variable in this case is on the right-hand side and the value is on the left-hand side. How would you solve this and how would you draw it? We begin solving it as we did in the previous example, so trying to isolate the x. And if you do that successfully, it will look like this. So very similar to the previous example, However, this time we have the variable on the right-hand side. However, to make drawing this inequality simple, it's better to have the variable on the left-hand side. That way we can use the inequality symbol as an indication of which way the arrow is going to go. So there's a very simple solution to this. All you have to do is flip everything around. So the X that was on the right is now gonna be on the left. The inequality symbol that was a less than is now going to be a greater than and the four which was on the left is now going to be on the right. And you are allowed to do this. Now that we've done this, we can go ahead and draw the solution on the number line. And that looks like this. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. Okay, now let's take a look at this example. Here you can see that the numbers are very similar to the previous examples. However, there is a negative symbol next to our X. So this is gonna develop in a similar way to the previous examples. However, there is something different that will happen compared to solving a regular equation. So let's see. I'm gonna first begin by eliminating this 10 as we did in the previous examples. So it's gonna be minus 10 to both sides. And we're gonna get minus three X which is less than or equal to 12. Now at this stage, you're about to learn something new. In order to get rid of this minus three that's being attached to the X via multiplication, I'm going to divide both sides by negative three, which is what you would do when solving an equation. 
However, with an inequality, whenever you introduce a division by a negative number or a multiplication by a negative number, so either division or multiplication by a negative number causes the following to happen. You flip the inequality symbol around. So you introduce a division by a negative, and then the next line, you flip the inequality symbol around. This gives us x is greater than or equal to negative 4. So that's something that's very important to remember, and definitely make a note of it. And drawing the inequality, we get the following. Remember, since your solution has a negative value in it, your number line is going to be the negative number line. So it's going to start with a minus 5, then have the minus 4 that's in your solution, and then a minus 3. Again, remember that if your inequality has an equals component to it, which this one does, the circle that you're going to draw is going to be a colored in circle. And of course, if the variable is on the left hand side and the number is on the right hand side, the direction of your arrow is going to be looking very similar to the inequality symbol that you have. So in this case, it's to the right. And that's how you solve a linear inequality where you have to divide or multiply by a negative value. Okay, guys, for this next example, the inequality is slightly different. It has two inequality symbols in it, but how you solve such an inequality is pretty straightforward. So let's begin. I'm going to first want to isolate the x as I normally would. So I'm going to get rid of this plus 10 by subtracting 10 to all parts of this inequality. And what that means is I'm going to take 10 off the 16 to give me 6. I'm going to take 10 off the expression in the middle, and that just leaves me with 3x because it cancels out with this plus 10. And I'm going to take away 10 from the 22, leaving me with 12. Now, since this 3 is being multiplied to the x, I'm going to divide all parts of this inequality by 3. And it gives us the following. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 3x divided by 3 is just x. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. And that's how you would solve such an inequality. Now, what this inequality can be read as is the following. x is between 2 and 4 inclusive, which means that x can be any value in between 2 and 4, including 2 and 4 themselves. And how you would draw such an inequality is as follows. You'd first begin by writing the numbers in the number line if they're not given to you, 2, 3, and 4. You'd then put your colored in circles above the values that are in your solution. So in this case, it's 2 and the 4. And instead of drawing arrows this time, you're just going to draw a single line in between the 2 and the 4, which kind of makes sense if you think about it. The solutions to this inequality are between 2 and 4. And because the circles are shaded in, that means you can include the 2 and 4 as solutions. And there you have it, guys. That's how we solve linear inequalities and draw the solution on number lines. I hope you've learned something by watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks again and take care.